Hey guys, so today I am here with my twin sister Nicole, Hello. who you saw in last week's video, and then my little sister Bella. Hi. And this is probably not going to be the norm, she's probably not going to be in any more videos besides this one, but we at least wanted to have her on once because she was interested in filming this video with us. And the topic for today is failure. So we're going to talk Why about you it. You <laughs> 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 Tried to be sneaky about that. Yeah, okay, so failure, but both in the physical and then moral sense. So we're gonna, it's going to kind of be a twofold. Yeah, we're going to start video. with the moral and then end with the physical. And then, so. yeah, and end with the physical. And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm a bit groggy today. I've been uh, struggling with insomnia the past couple days. I feel like that character, uh, Mel Gibson's character in, in Conspiracy Theory, do you remember when he's like going down the hallway in that wheelchair and he has those things on his eyes? Oh, yeah. I feel like, <laughs> I, feel like I need those right now. No, so if, if I zone out, they'll take the wheel. All right, so Nicole's going to kick it off. So we're going to kick this off with a comment that was left under one of Brittany's most recent videos. And it says, am I a hypocrite for not living up to my ideal ethics? I feel ashamed really for making mistakes in my character and choices that I shouldn't have. Does that mean that I should stop talking about those ideals because I mess up? And absolutely not. Yeah, no. Yeah, we, we all make mistakes, especially when you're trying to improve your character or you're trying and it's, to... Yeah, it's good that the person's recognizing yeah. also. That's also a big thing, like having to recognize yeah. your faults and what you're doing. Yeah, now. when you're working on your flaws, it can be a really, really like arduous process. And especially if you're trying to tackle many at once. I think it's always best, I think, to zero in on one thing and work on that for a while. And then once you improve, then to take on other character flaws. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be good actually here to clarify the difference between what a hypocrite is and, hip and what a hypocrite isn't. Yeah. A hypocrite isn't necessarily someone who preaches certain ideals and then will mess up and, and fall from time to time. If they are sorry for falling and they try and rectify that, take responsibility and try harder in the future. A hypocrite is someone who preaches certain ideals and then they, they completely live, go against those and yeah. don't care, basically. Yeah, and they live like, one way but then yeah, um, preach yeah, another Two-faced. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, like, if you're setting the bar higher for yourself, people will also tend to set the bar higher for you. you yeah, know? exactly. So people, if you're trying to work on yourself yeah. and you're setting the bar up there, people will tend to set that bar there or maybe higher or yeah, people who try to live a really good life, people will automatically hold them to a very high standard. And the minute they fall, people really like to, yeah. well, n not nice people, but but a lot of people do like to revel in that. Like, yeah. ah, ah, you can do it. Ah, but but that's why it's really good when you are trying to work on self-improvement to surround yourself with positive influences because you could be trying that's really awesome. hard and making great strides and then you're surrounded by these people that are just, you know, naysaying you all the time and it can be really destructive. So mm -hmm. I think that's a really good thing to do. Absolutely, and everyone has their moral slip-ups from time to time. The difference is that when you fail, how do you deal with this? Exactly. Are you gonna, are you gonna yeah. get back up? Are you gonna look at it as, I mean, life really at its core is a string of failures, kind of highlighted by ha bits of happiness and success and yeah. these kinds of things. But really, we shouldn't let ourselves be defined by our failures. Yeah, exactly. And in a way, though, when you fail, if you even though it could be paralyzing and you know you make you just have no will to go on, you getting back up and trying again, that in itself is a victory. And really, it, the, the harder you work for something, the more you're gonna appreciate it. If you fail a bunch of times before you succeed, you're gonna appreciate that success so much more. It's gonna mean so much more. Yeah. For example, if you have a fault that you've been working on for a really long time and you just can't seem to kick this bad habit, this vice, and then eventually from trying and persevering, you do manage to kick it to the curb, you're gonna feel so much better about yourself. You're gonna feel like you earned it. And really, all these bad character flaws they're really just bad habits so it's just a matter of kicking old bad habits and forming new good ones and they say it takes 30 days to form a new habit but I think you know with some I heard 18 I don't know and what also, it, it also depends what yeah, the habit it, is exactly because you know? it could take a really long time and even if you you know you could be doing great for two years and slip up you know you still it like it ain't over till the fat lady sings I know and basically Wait, what? <laughs> what? I never heard that no, I <laughs> And really, everyone has cracks in them, so to speak. And really, people have no place to judge unless they 
have no cracks in themselves. But as we know, nobody's perfect. Everyone messes up from time to time. So I think it is more difficult when you have this kind of judgmental culture. I guess in some ways it can be beneficial, especially for someone that doesn't want to change. And if they feel judged, then that might incite them to, to make some kind of change. But for the most part, it's it's like that one saying, um, he who is without sin can cast the first stone. But everyone obviously makes mistakes from time to time. So people have no place to judge. And I think really failure, <clears throat> when you fail both morally and physically, I think in these are the moments when you really find out who loves you and who's there for you. Because those yeah. people that surround you and stay and offer support, these are the people that really care about you. They understand that everyone's imperfect and they're not going to kick you aside, you know, like a, an old, like, yeah, used wanna cigarette help, butt or something like that, just you because you, you made a mistake. Yeah, they'll want to help you as well and not just be, like, with their friends, pointing fingers or whatever to make themselves feel better. I think mm-hmm. the same can be said for success. Mm-hmm. You know, when you succeed, if you suddenly have all these people, like, <laughs> running towards you, like, <laughs> yeah, friend, yeah, like bees to honey, then it can be yeah. very telling. Well, like, why are you here? <laughs> so, that always happens, though. When someone succeeds, they'll, they'll attract suddenly a fan club, you know, of best friends who have always believed in you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lastly, I think a good point is that failing it can be really good for us in the sense that it keeps us humble if someone's like always succeeding it's pretty much they're gonna get a really big head it's Mm -hmm. gonna be you know you start ballooning really big you know because they're always succeeding everyone's telling them how wonderful they are and you can get caught up in it so failing from time to time is a good thing to remember to remind us of our own humanity and that we're imperfect and that we can actually fail and also it's like lessons learning like as you continue you know yeah. not to do that next time if you do actually realize it as yeah basically something that yeah learning, learning learning with practice mm-hmm. it's kind of like that that donald trump quote i don't know if either of you guys have, have heard it but i was researching different articles on failure and different people's opinions and perspectives last night and i ran across a trump a trump quote where he says sometimes by losing a battle you find a new way to win the war and i think that's a really good quote actually i mean because obviously mm-hmm. donald trump has in a lot of failure but then he's also been fortunate enough to have a lot of success but I think that that coming from him he's someone who's educated on this matter and and you could take some advice from him for sure on the other hand there's the material aspect of failure for example you know somebody who's been pursuing a career goal for many years Mm -hmm. and um, that's us (laughs) we're like we were for a long time we were like the biggest failures we knew yeah it was like no one could fail more than us it it was failing but it was also like it's it was like like so close to succeeding like mm-hmm. our manuscript on agents desks like three or four times yeah. so so that that i think made it just way more difficult I mean, how many rejection letters did we get over the years? Over the course of about 10 years, we had about 200. It's pretty sad, but we were like, you know, we, we can do it. I think we took consolation in in the fact that there are a lot of really great people who failed before they succeeded. They had yeah. a series of failures. And some of them off the top of my head, mm-hmm. I know that Henry Ford failed before he succeeded. I know that Vincent Van Gogh only sold like one painting during his, during his entire lifetime. Mm-hmm. I know that uh, there, there are many people, famous people, and and I'll throw a couple screenshots in here of different people who managed to succeed in a huge way after a string of failures. Yeah. I think something that's really relevant to Brittany and I, um, sort of a caution for us be pursuing our goal, was we got to a point where we were, like, obsessed. Yeah. You know, like, I think what we've learned is <laughs> you need to have a balance. We would write, like, 18-hour days all week, you know? Yeah, and remember. it just, it was just way too Bella intense. knows. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. And I think it, was, it was, like, can I, can I talk to you? And it's like, get out. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just two minutes. Yeah, I think um, when I did research on, you know, people, what brings them success, there were a number of sort of cautions, and one of them was you need to have a balance, so discipline and pace yourself, take care of your health, you know, Mm. stay positive, stay focused, but don't, like, be hyper-focused to where you do nothing else. You need a schedule that's sustainable, that's not going to burn you out after a couple days like us. Like, we were practically corpses (laughs) that were, you know, held together by drinking coffee. Yeah. (laughs) You guys were rejected many times times Mm -hmm. but so that was failure in your guys's eyes yet that's that line where you're are you going to continue onward and take it from a different approach or just try harder or Mm -hmm. are you just gonna take the failure and let that define you and be like oh I wasn't able to publish my work or whatever that that's the important part I feel like is not just 
like how to deal with the failure yeah. or mm-hmm. what and you're going to do. And I think a huge caution as well, this happened to, um, or at least I know myself, is to not let <clears> failure, <throat> repetitive failure cause resentment, you know, where mm, you sort yeah. of blame other people, blame the surroundings because it, it That's happened really so many times. Ooh. Yeah. To, you know, sort of, I know it's a lot harder said than done, but to just shake it off, even though it can seem so paralyzing, you know, just take a break. If it gets yeah. to that point, you know, where you just feel crushed, take a break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as you said before, it's important who you surround yourself with. If you have a support group, uh, support group, obviously a pragmatic one, people that are realistic, not, you know, you can reach the moon, you yeah. know, by slingshotting yourself, you know, not, not these kind of people, but people that approach it very realistically and, <laughs> and will encourage you in a realistic way. This is really good to have these kind of people that, that believe in what you're doing, especially if you put so much hard work into it. That This was definitely very important for us, ha- having our parents be that support network there. And then having Isabella, she she read our book several times. Mm-hmm. She's I was read, like the beta reader. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I loved so, it though. So, so it awesome. of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> so so that was really helpful for us <clears throat> to have this when other people rejected us. It's it's a matter of perseverance at the end of the day. And I know some people say, oh, that's so idealistic to, to say mm-hmm. that if you just keep persevering one day you'll eventually succeed it's not I think you can be reasonable about this eventually you're going to succeed in some way maybe you'll never reach the level of the level of success that you initially went were going for but you eventually will succeed in some way whether this be in a job whether this be in a relationship whether this be morally uh, your own dealing with your own conscience yeah so I think at the end of the day the harder that you try the bigger you'll fail you know you could fail but also the bigger you might succeed absolutely and I think well, we, we probably covered covered most of what we wanted to say on this topic. I know it's less like backed up by all these articles and, 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 and evidence and everything. We kind of wanted to have more of like a, a little back and forth, just really natural off the cuff banter for this kind for this mm-hmm. video, uh, just to make it more natural and hopefully enjoyable to watch. And we probably left out some very important points, I'm sure. But and if we did, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments, what you think, maybe some things we forgot, maybe some things you think we're wrong about, because well, on occasion, it happens. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I had a lot of fun with Nicole and Bella. Thanks so much, you guys for joining. I yeah, hope you yeah, well, had fun. Thanks yeah. for watching. And thanks so much for watching everyone. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.